Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Latoya, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, it is time for another mystery box. And you might be wondering, why exactly am I hanging out inside in my ginormous, awesome Batmobile? Well, that would be because, honestly, in order to get this week's mystery box, I had to use the ginormous Batmobile in order to get it here because you guys did it. We hit over 3,000 likes on the last one. And more importantly, what I want to thank you guys for is the amazing amount of comments as well in that video that it was absolutely awesome and super duper cool. That's why the video is actually a whole day late is because the box is so ginormous, it took a whole extra day to arrive. So with that in mind, well, I guess I should say the box is exactly the same, but it's super heavy. Uh, so with that in mind, let me go ahead and uh, bring it into the shot here so we can take a look at it, shall we? Oh, finally got the box in here. So, uh, speaking of box, <laughs> get it, get it? Uh, I made a couple of additions to my uh, costume for Halloween. What do you guys think? Boxing banana or regular banana outfit? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to stick around till the very end of the mystery box and let me know what was your favorite item. And with that in mind, let's open it. Oh, whoops, okay, that's a little awkward. Let's open this up, shall we? Let us find out what is inside. Here we go, guys. All right, come on, box. Ba -ba. Oh my God. Okay, you have got to be kidding me. This thing is, dude, okay, this thing is full to the brim. This is insane. Guys, look at that. Guys, for this epic huge unboxing, let's go ahead and slam that like button. Let's try to hit 4,000 likes this week. That would be absolutely awesome so awesome. All right, let's start with the Lego ones since those are pretty easy to see up top here. So we have two Lego minifigure series 16 bags. Uh, whoa, dude, I haven't seen these in ages. Le uh, Lego minifigure series 15 bags. Love that, oh my gosh. Okay, well, we have another Steven Universe minis. We got before, uh, the battle ready, Steven, if you remember. That was awesome. Oh, another Lego minifigure series 16 bag. That is awesome, it's awesome. What the heck is that? D, no, life, li I thought it said life. <laughs> uh, yeah, good, good spelling of life with only three letters and no F. Uh, DC Comics bombshells vinyl figures. And there are so many of those. We'll look at those in a moment. Uh, another Mega Man backpack hanger. Uh, Tsum Tsum mystery pack, I guess. Dude, another Cartoon Network collection. What's next? Oh my gosh. The Mario backpack buddies. Oh my goodness, guys, we're not even done. And a Deadpool mystery mini. Are you kidding me? I'm already tired just even getting them out of the box. Whew. Okay, I gotta take a break. Gotta take a breather here, guys. I'm gonna be gone for like half an hour, so you just uh, listen to some uh, elevator music, you know. Do 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 That wasn't elevator music, was it? So, did I deliver or did I deliver? I promise you guys the biggest mystery box video yet. I think that this constitutes the biggest mystery box video yet. Now, if you're wondering what will exactly happen for next week's mystery box, where do we go next? Stick around, I'll let you guys know because I want you guys to vote on something. It's gonna be a very simple vote. At some point during the video, I will mention it. All right, so with that in mind, let's get to opening up stuff because we have so much stuff to get through. I think we'll start with the mini, uh, minifigure bags just so we could get those, uh, through those real quick here because there are so many of them. Uh, the Lego minifigure ones, that is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-cut all of these Series 16 right away so that we have a pretty good idea of uh, what we have here. And then, you know what would be hilarious? Let's do it, guys. This will be funny. So first of all, this is the, or these are the figures that we may get. The uh, catalog of characters. Caracatars. I don't know what that was. Uh, I apologize for doing that. We're gonna drop all three bags together and try to figure out what we actually got. Are you ready? Here we go, guys. All right, this is the moment of truth or the moment of fail. All right, there we go. So I think we got the penguin character in there. I'm pretty sure. Oh, ooh, the frost queen. Okay, okay, I can definitely see the frost queen in there. So I think that the frost queen is assembled just like so. I don't know why I'm doing transforming noises when it's a frost queen. Uh, does the shiny part go in where? Yes, it does. Okay, just wanted to make sure that I actually am doing this correctly. Um, please, Cape, walk with me. No, no, you're not working with me. You're not working with me at all. Please. Okay, here we go, here we go. I got it, I got it. Nope, I don't got it. Uh, I love how I said, oh yeah, let's figure out a way to do this quickly. And 
<laughs> the first thing I come up with is to do this as uh, long as possible in terms of like, uh, why would I mix up all three bags? But I think it made it for a bit more of an exciting moment here. So we have the sword slashing Elsa here. This is our uh, absolutely awesome ninja version of Elsa. First figure complete. All right, second figure. Who do we have here? All right, I think we have the archer. So let's put the archer together. That should be a pretty simplistic process, I would imagine. Three hours later. Cool archer character, complete. Next up, who do we have? Well, that would be the penguin handler person thingamajig. Yeah, uh, apparently that's a, a job title now. You can be a penguin handler. What are these supposed to be? Are these like ice skates or something? What is that for? Oh, awkward, awkward. They're not swords. They gotta be this way. Bam, they're actual ice blasts. Now this set I actually love because we did really, really well right now. We got two characters that I've not gotten before, the Penguin Handler and the Ice Queen. So that is awesome, so awesome. So moving right along to series number 15. Can we cut two bags like this? I Probably a terrible idea, don't do this at home. Okay, I think I just cut the figure. That sounded bad. Ooh, okay, I didn't. I only cut the uh, little baggy part here. All right, so, whoa, what can we get from series number 15? I've already forgotten. <gasps> oh, the shark guy. I've got one of him, but if we can get another, that would be really sweet. Uh, and maybe this one right here, the um, uh, animal control, because it's got a little skunk character, or this robot dude. That looks really cool, too. All right, so let's find out what we actually got. Bag number one. <gasps> dude, yes. Okay, uh, that is awesome, awesome. Another shark guy. Yes, I love this figure. It is such a sweet figure. And then number three, are you? Okay. I I honestly did not predict this. Guys, I, well, I, I technically, I guess I did predict it, but I did not fake this or anything like that. I honestly did not know who I was gonna get. So that is amazing. Woo wee, that's awesome. All right, cool. So uh, that's awesome. I just feel bad. I probably should have predicted somebody else or guessed someone else. Cause now people are like, oh, you just put those figures in there knowing that they're gonna be the ones that are blah, 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 blah. All right, but what we do do, does that make sense? Do, oh, I said do do, didn't I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but what we, do without the doo-doo is we get really cool figures. So, so far, so good. What is next though? I think probably the Steven Universe minis are looking pretty good as the next option. So if you don't know, what can we actually get in these? Well, let's take a look. Oh, by the way, this does say series one. Are there more series? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, pause. This is the part where I'll let you guys know how to vote or what to vote for next week's mystery box. All I want you guys to vote in the comment section below is Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. So pick one of those and let me know in the comment section below. All right, so let's see what we have here. Steven Universe minis. We can possibly get Pearl, Steven, Peridot, Garnet, Battle Ready Steven, Garnet again. Uh, why didn't she get a different name? Steven got a Battle Ready pose. Why didn't she get like Battle Ready Garnet and Garnet? That would be a lot easier to distinguish. We also have Amethyst and then we have Connie right there. So as far as who we'd like to get, anyone except for Battle Ready Steven because we already got him. Whew, here we go guys, let's open it up. Boom, shaka laka, what do we have? Yes, all right, it's Peridot number one or number two, depending on which way you're counting, I guess. Uh, so that is awesome. That was actually one of the characters that I think looked the coolest out of the bunch. So here we go. Uh, I think that just connects onto there. Uh, that connects onto there. And whoa, bam! Look, she's even flying. She's all like Super Saiyan and stuff. It's looking pretty stylish. There we go. Woohoo! All right, not bad. Peridot looking really, really, really awesome. Uh, very cool design overall. I love the hair and everything that looks fantastic and the overall battle ready pose Which is why I think this one should have been called battle ready pose uh, or battle ready Peridot, right? Uh, it's not Peridot. It's Garnet. Oh my gosh Why do I keep calling them all in the wrong names? Probably because I've never watched Steven Universe and I should and I also should watch World of Gumball There's a bunch of shows that people are like, oh my god, how can I not watch? Because there is not infinite time in the universe Well, th there is infinite time in the universe, but I don't have infinite time to watch everything. Does that make sense? I sound crazy, don't I? And our army of minifigures continues to grow. This is pretty absolutely crazy. Now, what's next? Well, I think maybe Deadpool will serve us as a good transition to the next uh, mystery bag here. This is the original minis by the Collectible Characters. I don't know, that's an interesting name. What, what's your company name? The Collectible Characters. What do you do? Oh, we create collectible characters. Uh, what can we get? Well, we can get uh, design number one. Oh, they didn't even name them originally. Okay, cool. Design one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not. Oh, oops, I, I gotta stop counting. All right, woohoo! Let's see what we got. Warbam! Let's get rid of the bag. 
Okay, I already did that gag last week. Can't do that one again, can we? All right, so... Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, dude, this is nice. We actually have the X-Force Deadpool. I like that. I really like this costume quite a bit. Deadpool would have commented something about this. I'm just gonna let it slide. Oh, that was an unintentional pun. All right, and there we have the Mr. Mini Deadpool. All awesome and really, really cool. I'm actually really hopeful that at some point we see this costume on a cinematic screen because I think it would look absolutely incredible, especially if Deadpool had like a black and white part in the movie that would be him in this costume. He's like, oh, perfect. My costume actually makes sense now. <laughs> or something like that. It would work really, really, really well. So moving right along to another bag that we have opened up before, and that is the Mega Man Backpack Hangers. Let's go ahead and slide this bag open. Whoops, actually, uh, before we do that, I probably should have shown you what we can get. So that is the options of what we may actually pull. Obviously, we want to get uh, try to get the special figure. Last time people said that that was the special figure. I don't think it was. I'm pretty sure that this is the exact same pose, but it could be wrong. So if we've already got the special figure, let's obviously try to get something else. Here we go. What do we got here? Ooh, nice. All right. So I think that this is the fire powered uh, Mega Man, the one that also has the really, really cool uh, hanger piece up top here. So you got the Mega Blaster with the actual blast firing away. Can he stand? Let's find out. This is the test of truth that we have been trying to do with all of these keychain figures. Can you possibly stand? No, you cannot. Ooh, actually, you stand this way. Nope, you cannot. All right. So you'll just uh, hang out right there. Perfect. So, what's next? Uh, I think we should probably continue with the bag slash boxes that we've opened up before. And then all three of these we have never opened up before. So these will be really, really, really fun. I think we'll probably save either this or that one for last, because I think those will probably be the coolest. So, nonetheless, here's the Cartoon Network Titans vinyl figures. Here are the possible figures that we may actually get out of the entire bunch. Would be amazing to obviously get some of these rare guys as well. That would be really, 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 really cool cool. And with that being said, let's go on ahead. Oh, by the way, this is a Hot Topic exclusive. Big something, Big Donut Steven Universe. There we go. All right. I thought it said Big Nose Steven Universe. I was like, okay, that's a little mean. Ooh, wait a minute. Who is this? Uh, okay. This? Huh. I might actually, hmm. I'm not sure who this is, <laughs> uh, but if I had to make a prediction, I would probably guess that this might be Mordecai. Or maybe, just maybe, the one that I'm hopeful of, this might be Samurai Jack. Boom, shakalaka! That's it, I'm happy. We, we, dude, this is seriously the best mystery box so far. Not only does it have a whole bunch of cool stuff in it, but we end up getting the absolutely coolest figures of the bunch. The figure looks insane. How rare is he, by the way? Was he a very rare figure or is he just like one of the uh, pretty common figures? He is actually two in 20, so one in 10. Yeah, he's pretty common, but he's absolutely awesome. Love Samurai Jack and cannot wait for that new uh, Samurai Jack that they will be doing, I think either this year or next year. No, it can't be this year, right? It's probably next year. So moving right along to the Tomb Tomb Mystery Bag. Is that how you say that, by the way, Tomb Tomb? I'm not sure. I've never bought any of these. They're hugely popular. I think they actually didn't start as uh, figures. They started as like little plushies, but um, they're really, really popular. And uh, hopefully these are cool. Are there multiples in here? Cause it says mystery pack. Oh, wow, dude, these actually look really sweet. Look at that. So that's the possible figures that we can get. Rocket Raccoon, Captain America, Falcon, Ghost Rider, Thanos, uh, Vision, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Thor, and Hobgoblin. I gotta say Hobgoblin, Halloween time, perfect choice. Um, I would love if we got, I'd probably say Rocket Raccoon, Spidey, Thanos. Those would probably be the three that I want the most. All right, so is there a little tearing uh, thing that we could use here? Nope, okay. Lucky scissors, please help us out. This thing looks like a Pokeball. It'd be perfect for a Pokeball mystery mini. <gasps> Ooh, okay, we got Thor, not bad. Not one of the ones that I said I would want to get, but Still pretty happy. Uh, I'm very interested to see what this one actually looks like. Thor, get out of there. It's like little hamster Thor. I feel like that's what they're inspired by, no? They kind of look like little hamster toys, if that makes any sense. That probably doesn't make any sense because what does that even mean, hamster toys? Nobody knows, including me. I don't even know what that means. Um, but there we go, woohoo! Thor on the Mjolnir hammer. I'm not sure how he's gonna pick that up, but that's his problem, right? And here we go, two final items remaining. This is insane. For those of you that stuck around all the way through the end, 
thank you so much. You guys are insanely awesome. So here we go. I think we'll open this one and then save the ginormous, massive, giant uh, Mario hanger for last. How do you take this wrap? Oh, there we go. Maybe on the bottom if we could like get a little bit. There we go. A little bit of a break in the plastic, then we can actually tear it open. My gosh, this is like sealed like insanely well. There we go, finally. Whew. All right, so here are all the characters that we can possibly get. We got Wonder Woman, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, Black Canary, Batwoman. Then we move on to Flash, Katana, Hot Girl, Mira, or Mera, sorry. By the way, did you see the pictures of Mera in Justice League? Looks insane. And then I think that's an exclusive Harley, and that's probably an exclusive Wonder Woman, so we'll see. Here we go, guys. Let's open. Oh, are you serious? Are you, are you kidding me right now? Let's open. Let's open! Okay, whew, let's open this up! Woo, okay, sweet! So, I think that this is Hot Girl, right? Uh, yeah, it is Hot Girl. Cool, fantastic. Man, this is a beautiful figure. This is fantastic. I'm hoping that future mystery boxes come along with more of these, because that looks pretty fantastic as far as the design and everything. I think they did like a whole bunch of posters and then statues of these figurines, and now I guess they did a full mini series of them as well, which is pretty interesting. Kind of surprising that I guess it got that popular. But there we go, we have Hawk Girl looking pretty fantastic. I love that it's almost like a steampunky version of her because she doesn't have like the giant wings. Instead, she has a jetpack. So that's pretty fantastic. Woo! All right, Hawk Girl, join the team. That sounded like a fart noise, didn't it? Yep, sounds like a fart. And here we go, time for the final item of the day. We have the Super Mario backpack hanger, no, backpack buddy. Uh, pack. Each pack contains one character. There are eight to collect. Look out for the rare Chase character. Who's Chase? Get it? <laughs> Terrible jokes. All right. Uh, here we have Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Peach, Toad, Wario, Koopa Troopa, and Donkey Kong. If I had to vote for which one I'd love to get, Wario is number one, Mario is number two, probably Yoshi number three. Here we go. Let's open it up though, shall we? We tear the bag open, we slide. Ooh, the box, the box. Okay, wait, wait, here we go, guys. The final item, drum roll, please. And ta-da, dude, okay, this is insane. Seriously, how did we get the chase? This has gotta be the chase, right? There's no way that the, the regular Mario is gold, right? This has got to be the chase Mario. Oh my googly moogly, guys. This is insane. Seriously, we got the shark guy. We got the veterinarian. We, well, I mean, other than that, we didn't really get anybody super rare, but we got the Chase Mario. How rare is this figure? For those of you that know anything about these backpack buddies, tell me, because maybe I'm just unnecessarily freaking out. Maybe they're super common. By the way, Super Mario logo on that too. You see that? Uh, I think you do. There we go. So that is incredible. Yee it's a me, Golden Mario. What was that? So there you guys have it. That concludes another mystery box video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please don't forget to, of course, vote on what I asked you guys to vote at some point during the video. For those of you that stuck around all the way to the end, thank you guys so very much. Thank you so very much for the amazing reception on this entire series. Again, don't forget to drop a like. Guys, if we could hit 5,000 likes, that would be like insanely super duper epic and cool. Thank you for the amazing support. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of the week. Enjoy it. I'll catch you guys next time, which will be on Sunday with the next mystery box.